Welcome to Lecture Online and in the previous video we saw a definition of the acid dissociation constant for acids. And so what we're going to do here is find the delineation between strong acids and weak acids using this constant. Again going back to the definition, we have an acid and we put it into a solvent like water and the result will be that we end up with hydronium ions and the conjugate base ions. Now the the amount of the dissociation will of course determine how big the K is. And of course if the dissociation is very small then the K will be a very small number. If the dissociation is large then K will be a large number. But what would it be for pure water? For example, let's say that we use the hydronium ion in a, in a container of water as the acid and the water then itself as the solvent and the reaction will go back and forth. With other words, some of the hydronium ions will give up their hydrogen ion and turn back into water. And that hydrogen ion will then mix in with another water molecule and turn that water molecule into a hydronium ion. And so what that means is that the hydronium ion will be the acid, the water will be the solvent, the water molecule on the other side of the reaction will be the conjugate base, and the hydronium ion is basically the free hydrogen ion which will then turn back into hydronium ion. So if we use this equation then in the definition of what the acid dissociation constant is, we can then come up with the K sub A for water. So let's try to do that. So in this case, the K sub A of water, and I like to use a small a for that, I think that's the convention, is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ions, so that would be the concentration of the hydrogen ion, times the concentration of the conjugate base, which would be the concentration of the water, divided by the concentration, the rich or the final concentration of the acid. Now the acid, of course, would be the, the concentration of the hydronium ion. All right, now remember that the concentration of the hydrogen ion eventually essentially is going to be the same as the concentration of the hydronium ion because every hydrogen ion will turn back into hydronium ion. So I can actually write this as the concentration of the hydronium ion times the concentration of the water divided by the concentration of the hydronium ion. And of course you can clearly see that these will cancel each other out. That means that the Ka, the acid dissociation constant for water, K sub A, will simply be equal to the concentration of water, H2O, and if you remember that in a liter of water you have 55.5 moles of water, so this is equal to 55.5 moles per liter, and that's the dissociation constant for water, is you consider water as being an acid which means that any acid which is stronger than that would have a dissociation constant larger than 55.5 and any weak acid would have a dissociation, dissociation constant smaller than 55.5 moles per liter. And that's kind of the dividing line between strong acids and weak acids. So let's, let's uh, write that. So a strong acid will have a K sub A greater than 55.5 and a weak acid will therefore have an acid dissociation constant that is smaller than 55.5 and that's another way to delineate between a strong acid and a weak acid.